Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of the Beginner's Guide to Neverwinter. In the series I walk you through everything you need to know about the mechanics and basics of games, and in this episode we're going to be going over the refinement system added in 12b. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So first up, what is refinement? Well, refinement is the process of upgrading certain pieces of equipment to make it provide more stats, provide more gear score, and improve its overall efficiency. Pieces of equipment that you can upgrade are rune stones, enchantments, artifacts, main and offhand artifact weapons, artifact necklaces, and artifact belts. There are also certain events like Wonders of Gone that have unique items that you can refine for that event. Before I go over to refine, let's go over refinement points or RP so this makes sense. RP is the currency used to refine your equipment and is obtained by breaking down items and turning them into RP. You do this by going to your inventory options and then pressing convert to refinement points option at the bottom. This will bring you to this menu. From here you can select whole categories of convertible items, which covers enchantments, runestones, gemstones and identified equipment. You can also select specific items from your inventory to convert, so if you just wanted to convert a specific enchantment for instance, you can do it there. This also allows you to convert miscellaneous things like the shattered items from Castle Never. You should always be converting your identified equipment and gemstones for RP, as well as your unneeded enchantments and runestones. There's also an event that allows you to farm RP from kills called Bonus RP. I made a video going over that and a link to the description down below if you want an overview of that event. We should also go over reagents since they're essential to the refining process. Reagents are used to level your equipment to the next levels and are mainly split into enchanting stones and max of potency. You'll likely collect a few of these as progress through the game, but some of the more important ones can only be found in lockbox drops or extremely rarely in other farmable locations. One of the most important ones is the Greater Max of Potency, since these are used in a lot of the mid to late tier upgrades until you get to the big stuff, and are a very common drop from lockbox rewards that contain them. So how do you refine your equipment? Well, you select the piece of equipment and then press Refine, which will bring you to this menu. An enchantment or rune stone will look like this, one solid bar, but if it's say an artifact or something along those lines, it'll look like this, with two bars. This is because artifact equipment needs several internal levels to level its rarity up, so you need to fill up the purple bar to level the rarity of that piece of equipment up. On enchantments or runestones, you just need to fill up the bar once and upgrade it to the next level. To upgrade anything to its next level or rarity, you need to fill up the bars and then use your reagents to upgrade. There is only a percentage chance this will actually work, which is why you should use preservation wards, which I'll cover in a second. Upgrading will cost you refinement points, and as you get to the higher tier of upgrades, it gets a lot more pricey to level something, and the reagents eventually become extremely rare. The upgrading of artifact gear will go from this, green to blue to purple to orange, which is where things like artifact weapons stop, but artifacts will go all the way to cyan, which is their final rank. You should always be upgrading using wards, mainly preservation wards. The reason for this is preservation wards stop you from losing your reagents when you go to upgrade, and they're a must have for almost any upgrade because if you lose some really rare reagents, it's either going to cost you a lot of AD or a lot of time getting them back. There is also coalescent wards, but these are used for the 1% rolls and stuff to make them 100%, so if you get a coalescent ward, save it for the late game upgrade stuff. You can find wards on the auction house as well as in the Zen market, and in the Vault of Pi E Celestial Synergy coffers. Well that's going to be all guys, I hope you found this video helpful or informative, and if you did leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and if you have any questions regarding anything in this guide, please feel free to leave your questions down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. Also if you have any suggestions for guides I can make, I'd love to hear your suggestions to help out newbies. Thank you for watching to the end of the video, have a great day, and peace.